All right, guys, here we go. New adventure game, Unavowed, from Wajedi Games. Actually, my third time covering a Wajedi game on this channel. If you want to check out the previous ones while you're waiting for these episodes to come out, there's uh, Primordia and uh, Shardlight are the two I've covered here in the past. This one, they got a bit ambitious with it. So first of all, they doubled the resolution, so it's still... It's still very pixelated because it's still going with the old adventure game style and everything, but it's significantly more detailed pixel art than before, which is impressive. But the main takeaway, I think, is the fact that there's a whole bunch of characters in this one, and I guess when you're going on individual missions or story arcs or whatever, you're going to be able to, like, choose a team from an existing list of people, and taking different people leads to different outcomes, I assume for both the story and the puzzles themselves, like, you can probably have different solutions and things like that, and so it's being touted as a game uh, that actually, ha it's either supposed to be a point and click game that actually has replay value, which is not very common, because a lot of these games you kind of solve the semi-linear sequence of puzzles in their chronological order, and then you're kind of done, unless you just want to nostalgically replay it one day, because the experience usually doesn't really change. But I think the swapping of characters is supposed to really significantly change the effect on this one here. And I think it's already actually being touted by a fair number of people as being, like, the best Wajidai game or something like that. At the very least, it doesn't seem like a misfire. Let's get in there. May you be snatched away from this place. You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment. As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit. Where am I? Silence! Now answer true. Are you demon, man, or woman? <laughs> Man, woman, or demon. Alright. I mean, I have to find out what happens if you pick her, right? I'm a demon. No, you are not! Answer me true. Are you a man, woman, or demon? Alright, I am, um... What the hell are you talking about? No, just answer. Do as he says. Unless you want a broken wrist. I'm a man? Demon, your power over his mind is waning. Release him now. Release him before I am forced to destroy you. Remember, you are human. Remember. Tell us, before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name. Uh, surprise. Did you hear that, evil spirit? He knows himself. He is yours no longer. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession. Quick. Anything? Uh, you can be an actor, or a police officer, or a bartender. Hello. Uh, I, uh this probably affects what you what your actual role is in the game, huh? Uh, I am an actor. Yes. He's beginning to remember. Born to the stage, born to play roles. Now the role of yourself has been taken by another. Take it back. Fight it! Remember who you are! Remember! Oh, we're going further back in time. Okay, so at some point in the future, I will be possessed by a demon, evidently. Under the Bricks Theater. After the last sign was stolen, they decided to just paint one onto the wall. All right, valid. Serena's one of your co-performers. What's she doing out here? And in costume, no less. Ah! We're getting a prologue origin story chapter based on which uh, background we chose for our character. That's interesting. The owners of this place sell tickets for your show in exchange for a small kickback. Cool guys. Oh, clicking on it doesn't do anything. I guess it is showing up as text already. This either says Lisa or Zisa. You and Zack had a lot of drunken arguments about that. 
We've got a character named Serena. We've got a character named Zack. Oh, there's my inventory up here. Arrows to sort through them all, an options menu. Sure. Oh, hey. It's you. I thought you were giving up smoking. I was trying to quit to save my voice for the show. Not much point in that now, is there? You mean our show? The one that's opening in a week? <laughs> Not anymore. The show's done. Kaput. Our fearless directors had a meltdown. Everyone's walked out. Only Mori is left. Is Mori okay? Mori put the money down on this place. How do you think he's doing? I told him he was an idiot for doing that. But whatever. The show's done and good riddance. If you want to go and deal with Mr. Prima Donna, go ahead. I'm having one last cigarette. Then I'm gonna get so drunk I'll puke on this stupid costume. The hell of a reaction? Alright, I guess we're not having any more other conversations there. Uh, let's try out this place that sells the tickets. Can I look in there? No, you can just walk up to it. Actually, I can't walk past her? Interesting. They don't expect you to try, I guess. Bits of script that someone dropped here two weeks ago. Nobody's bothered to pick them up. Mori's been part of the troop almost as long as you. He looks... upset. Mount Olympus in all its matte painted glory. You nearly broke your back hanging these things up. Good times. You hope these seats are slightly less empty on opening night. It sounds like there won't be one. Props made from the best cardboard money could buy. Oh, so this, this is a really high level production we got here. A door leads to the theater's small office. Any observations of myself? Nope. you heard. Yeah, I heard. Are you alright? No, I'm not alright. Nothing's alright. Zack's gone off the deep end. He's not coming back. I mean, he's had his moments before, but this... You guys fighting again? Look, Zack's an odd guy at the best of times, but now... I blame you for this, you know. We need a writer and a director, you said. My old friend Zack does both, you said. What the hell were you thinking? Don't blame me, I don't even know what happened. You're right, this isn't your fault. Zack says the play isn't good enough. He wants to do rewrites. Rewrites, we open next week. He's added four major characters. He's changed over half my lines, Serena's too. And he's still not done. He says the ending needs to be more impactful. That doesn't sound like Zack. Well, maybe you didn't know this guy like you thought you did. I mean, damn it, I don't know what to do. You've got seniority here, you know Zack. What do you think? We used the old script. I suggested that myself. Zack won't have it. He threatened to sabotage the show if we did it without him. He's not right in the head. He won't leave. He's been cooped up in the office for a week. He hasn't showered. He doesn't even come out to eat. We don't know what to do. You know him the best. Could you talk to him? I'll try, I guess. Thanks, I'll, I'll just be here. Huh. Let's take a real quick look at this and turn you guys even further down. I find the voices tend to get drowned out by this just the sheer amount of other audio at times. Maybe Zack's been possessed by one of those demons that are going around. Maybe we'll find that out. Go away, Mori! Not Mori, it's me, Keith. Huh? Oh, it's you. Sorry, can't talk. I'm really, really busy. So I hear you're doing some rewrites. Oh, I've gone beyond rewrites now. I'm slashing the whole thing. I mean, what was I thinking? Killing off the hero's father in the first act? He only has two lines. He needs more scenes, more engagement. So when he dies, we'll feel it. And that's important, getting people to feel. I understand that now. 
Mori is worried about you. I told him a million times I'm fine. Just leave me alone. So, uh, busy doing what? Making this show the next big thing, man. It's like, it's like, it's like I was just going through the motions before, but now I get it. I can't stop. Not now. You know what inspiration's like. I have to keep going before it's gone. I can't stop for anything. So I can't talk now. Sorry. You look awful. Zach. Hey, I didn't ask you to come here. Feel free to leave. I'll be right back. Bye. The lights are off. It's impossible to see anything. Let's see how he reacts to... Click. Uh. Okay. Are you aware there's a blonde woman in the corner? Of course I know. That's Kelly. She's the reason for this. For everything. Wait, is she a literal muse? I've seen this game, I've seen the supernatural elements this game's supposed to have. I mean, the, the title shows it immediately. The, that screen with the weird ghost or whatever that's spawning. Is that supposed to be an actual muse? Is that what we're getting from here? Uh, she's already in costume, I see. Costume? That's no costume, that's the genuine article. She's my muse. I searched desperately for her, and she came! I'd hoped she'd give me a few ideas, maybe push me in the right direction, but this? I've never been this inspired! I'm on fire! Please, leave us alone? Okay, she's... She is literally a muse. A luminous woman sits here, gazing inscrutably at... Zack. What are the scissors? The scissors are jammed through a book in a fit of rage. Zach's old reference books have been thrown into a haphazard pile. Gross. Whatever that was, you're not picking it up. Yeah, what? What is that? I'm gonna hope it's a sandwich. <laughs> Zach's old reference books have been thrown in a haphazard pile. Filled to the brim with crumpled up bits of paper. His files have grown progressively more chaotic since Zach took over. Zack looks terrible and smells worse. His fingers bang over the keyboard like they're possessed. He may be a bit possessed at the moment. Uh... Um... I mean, I'm allowed to pick them up, so I'm gonna go grab the scissors. Out of habit. Hello. A pleasure to meet you. What's happened to Zack? What happened? I happened. I am inspiration made flesh, a conduit to the creative energy of the universe. With that energy, I fill and sustain Zachary. He will either master that energy or be consumed by it. Uh, rude? You brainwashed him. I have done nothing of the sort. I provide a service. I appear only when asked. Zachary had been creatively blocked for a very long time. So, naturally, he called upon me. Whatever you're doing, you need to stop. And why would I desire such a thing? Do not interfere. We are connected to the creative force. Any disruption could break it. Any disruption, huh? I got scissors. And now I'll just take these and stab. <laughs> uh... Ooh. The cord is solidly connected to the outlet in the wall. Could take it out. That'd be fun. Let's talk to her more. Your presence is disturbing the flow of creative energy. Please leave. Excuse me? You're disturb disturbing my creative energy? I'll show you creative energy. Not a chance. I super glued the cord into the socket, remember? Mori kept tripping on it and pulling it out. Okay. What? Huh? Hey, god damn it! What the hell, man? Oh no, a power outage. What are we gonna do? Take a shower, for God's sake. I don't have time for that crap! I can't stop now! You of all people should understand! When your muse has you, you just can't stop! You need to eat. You're killing yourself. No, I'm living. More than I ever have. I see it now. You and Mori and everyone else, you're all hacks. Neither of you have the guts to do what I've done. 
And what exactly is that? To dig deep, to reach into the very depths of your own soul and pull it out! No, you can't do that because there's nothing inside you at all! Look, I mean no disrespect. I like you, man. You're a great actor. When these rewrites are done and this show goes to Broadway, you'll thank me. Everyone is gone, Zack. Nobody wants to be a part of this. They left? They abandoned me? I'm doing this to help you. Can't you all see that? All I see is a man who needs help. Help? Oh, I don't need help. I'm doing great. Aren't I? No, Zack. This isn't you. I... I'm not sure who I am right now. The past week, with Callie, it's been great, but I'm... confused. Damn it. I've been a real asshole, haven't I? You've all put so much work in. You all really believe in this, in me. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Why do I feel like she's gonna do something? Like... Transform into something way worse on the fly? Because we're disrupting her... her conduit? Like, I imagine she's probably feeding off of him in some way, right? Like, this is like a parasitic thing. That's... That'd be why she's so invested in it. It's not too late. No, it's not. We've still got a week, and everyone's been doing great already. We can still do this. I can still do this. I just need to call everyone, tell them I'm okay, that I'm an idiot. Speaking of, could you get rid of this book for me? Book? Yeah, this book. It's how I found my muse, Callie. I I'm not sure how it works, but it did. Take it. Hide it. Don't give it back until after the show is over. Zachary, I am not so easily dismissed. Who's dismissing? Once the critics destroy us, there'll be plenty of time for rewrites. Was that completely necessary? <sighs> oh boy! So, what's the story? Well, why are you staring at me like that? Oh boy! Alright, shouldn't have picked up those scissors. Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Gotcha! Eli! That went bad so incredibly fast. So it's been a year? I've been under demon control for a year now? All right, well, I was kind of right in that I was sure she was going to lash out or do something, but it's the book that possesses people or something? You can't see him from this angle, but his moaning tells you he's alive. She looks ordinary, but had a grip like a steel vice. She's hovering over the man like a mother hen. What? Oh, judging by the view, you're somewhere in Brooklyn, not too far away from your old theater. Yeah, I don't think that show happened, judging by me murdering everybody. God damn. Alright, that's one way to get this character invested in the idea of... ...of fighting whatever's going on. Because <laughs> that really fucked his, uh, his life up really quickly. And made him an actual murderer. Stand back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away! The spirit is gone. That guy's harmless. Harmless? I'll show you harmless. Tell me what's going on. Hmm. False bravado. I believe you are correct. <laughs> Told you. He doesn't even know what's going on. It looks like his memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us and we will explain everything. 
You just threatened me with a sword. That is correct. It is also correct that we just saved your soul. Do as you like. Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. Well, now... That went... Exceptionally poorly for us. Exceptionally, exceptionally poorly for us. Alright, so we've probably murdered everyone we've ever known. Nah, that's, that's dramatic. We definitely murdered those two people. I don't know what happened to the actress out front. She said she was gonna have one last smoke and leave, so she might have just left. Uh... Yeah, we're not really saving the play at this point. Okay. Do take your time. Soak it all in. So I'm guessing the implication is that we did this, right? A pretty redhead, impaled straight through the heart. This man's face has been beaten beyond recognition. An old woman lies crushed under the table. If she's affected by the carnage around her, she gives no sign. He looks slightly green. He's obviously uncomfortable here. You can relate. Uh, damn. Alright, demon powers are dangerous. Apparently. Uh. So, do you remember anything? Anything at all? What the hell happened here? Your answer is within your question. Hell indeed happened here. These innocents, innocents of this city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. That's a lie. You will find that I always tell the truth. Famous for it, actually. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you murdered that actor Mori in cold blood. And that rider. Wait, Zack and Mori? I killed them? Your body did, if that's what you mean. That theater's been a condemned sight ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. And it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. She's laying heavy on the guilt for the thing that I kind of didn't do. I should turn myself in. No, you can't do that. He is correct. Punishing yourself is not the answer, and would expose us. If you want to see justice done, help make it right. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going, yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. I'd love to chat and get to know you better, but we need to vamoose. Quickly, leave through the back door. We will follow. Oh yeah, there's the back door. Exit sign. Oh, you stepped in some of the gore, now Fresh it's gonna track. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps he can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. Ah, that's an unpleasant sound. Oh, lighting. I mean, electricity, I mean. The insulation's worn thin here, exposing the wire. Sparks are flying off it. Better not touch. Pipe looks a bit corroded, but sturdy. Let's grab that. Regardless of whether I use it in the puzzle, I can hold on to it. Um... You've gotta be kidding me! This place... Much has changed. Creature! Who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void. By you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. 
I know what you are, Jin Child. I know you cannot speak false. Nevertheless, a beacon appeared. A path was formed. I merely got myself a rag, copper wire. Oh, I can play with some of this stuff. I need to distract them, right? Um, that might not be entirely true. All right, copper wire from that spot. On the roof, I used a lot of that's the puddle. Yeah. To call the attention of well, something like this. Hehehe. Playing with force. Hit this to make noise. Damn it! Trying to be clever here. I'm mage enough to burn you into a greasy smudge. Uh, lie. What do I do with the I rag? A falsehood when I hear one. I can smell your power. Ah, was the rag good for? You okay. Have none left. The puddle. You are nearly spent. And you, Jin Child. Maybe I can just talk to him and he'll walk into it. Stand. No, don't walk past it. Oh. That may be true, but stand we shall. Wisely say nothing. Since we're being so <laughs> with each other, All right. You don't look too healthy Give yourself. me a bit of a hint there. Shit. The journey here was long and difficult. I used much of my energy getting here. What else is around here? Ah, so you're just as tired as we are. That's called a stalemate, friend. I do not wish to fight. I have no quarrel with either of you. I am merely hungry. Feed me, and I will return home. Maybe I can feed him a rag? What type of food do you require? A creature's body is made of sinew and ligaments, no skin that you can see. Human flesh is all that will sustain. Uh, oh yeah, no big deal. You just eat humans. Cool. Of course it is. That's not gonna happen. Sorry. Really, is there nothing else here? Not allow that. Depart in peace. There need not be bloodshed. Can I hit this to make noise? I, to feed. I want. I die Damn it! I figured I'd create. I'd create an electric the puddle, and leave. then I would make noise. Rainwater's pouring out of this drain pipe. I summoned you. I do oh, have that rag. rag. If you have the will to enforce it. Yes. Yes. Haha. Ah. -ha. That's cool how the whole conversation keeps that happening. Was creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. Wow. Is that what this is gonna be now? So the like real time ish puzzles start happening where like a converse a very long conversation apparently starts happening with some kind of villain and I have to figure out how to defeat them. I wonder if there's genuinely a time limit or if, like if can you lose or will it kind of loop eventually or something? That was different. Someone had to do something, you guys obviously weren't. Look, pal, under most circumstances I would have been happy to burn that guy to a crisp. But my magic's tapped out. I used it all up saving you. And he returned the favor to both of us. <sighs> Such agony. What manner of pain is this? About 10,000 volts. It hurts unlike anything I've ever experienced. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? Are you talking to me? I can sense the corruption within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. 
Wait, so couldn't we have just opened that door and he'd be like, Look, human flesh. So much of it. <laughs> what about the dead bodies inside? What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families, loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. It was your magic that brought it here. The choice is yours. You're the one with the sword. Boy, am I you instantly the, the leader of this entire organization, apparently. You've got uh, life. let him feed. Yes. It is the most... practical solution. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished? Yes. I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child. Mage. Demon Spawn. I shan't trouble you again. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. Not the nicest all choice all, ever. This was eventful. But it was that or kill him. Eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your situation. Situation? You want to tell him or should I? One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. You certainly can't go back to acting. Indeed. Although there might be a new role you can play. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally, there's a vetting process, but you more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? You guys are obviously hopeless without me. <laughs> say that again after my powers recharge. None of us are at full strength. Come, we can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. Is that a threat? 